Let's now tackle number 25 on the AMC 12A. A tricky problem with a really cool and simple solution. There are unique integers A1 through A of 2023 such that we can rewrite 10 of 2023x in this form. We're asked to find this, which is just the coefficient of 10 2023rd of x. So the trick in these types of problems is you can go on and on and on using identity. In fact, there's a pretty slick metal solving solution, which, you know what, why don't I just quickly show you here. There's a really slick metal solving solution. We have tangent of 2x, which is 2 10x over 1 minus 2 10, 1 minus 10x squared. And then we have tangent of 3x. We can get 2 10x. I'm just going to write t for short instead of ten, writing 10x all over again. 2t over 1 minus t squared plus t over 1 minus 2t squared over 1 minus t squared. Now the trick is we just multiply by 1 minus t squared everywhere and then we end up with minus t cubed in the numerator. It's something like 2t plus t minus t cubed and then here we have 1 minus t squared and then minus 2t squared. So clearly uh, for cubed the coefficient is negative 1. Now I'm not going to continue on and on, but if you try tangent of 4x, and the trick is we just worry about the leading coefficient, you'll end up back at 2. So just keep cycling, 2, negative 1, 2, negative 1, you get an answer of 1. But now let's look at how to solve this problem, you know, properly. So, what is this random binomial? It's like, a, it's a really random thing. It's just a giant expression. The trick for this type of problem, and really any of these kind of comp, of these of these trick problems is to use complex numbers. Why complex numbers? Because when we use complex numbers, then it's much easier to find trick relations because it's much, you can keep using the identities. You can probably get some conclusion there, but complex numbers is more natural because if let's say we have sys of 2023x, right? Cosine of this plus I sine this. We're basically, this is gonna be have some real part And then it's also going to have some imaginary part. I. So the trick for this is the tangent is just the ratio of the imaginary part to the real part. Because this part, because this thing is sys of 2023x is just cosine 2023x plus I sine 2023x. So it's just this over this, which is imaginary part over the real part. So that's kind of what motivates this, because now this ratio we're looking for, which is sys of 2023x, we also know sys of, by de Moivers, this is just sys of x to the power of 2023. By the way, I covered these concepts, de Moivers, roots of unity, all that stuff in my complex numbers videos, you can check them out. So sys of x to the 2023 is going to equal to all of this part. And we're trying to find, okay, in sys of x to the 2023, and you know what, let's just write it in full form. Cosine x plus i sine x to the 2023. We're looking for the imaginary part. I think this is like, you write it like this. Some, this is like the notation that you use or something like that. And then you have real part, real part of that same thing. And I'm just going to use my copy paste feature here. Oops, not trash. <laughs> so we're looking for this ratio of the imaginary to the real part. And the, again, the reason we're using complex numbers here, as opposed to just trying to use trick, is because 2023, and we're trying to break it down to smaller values, complex numbers are really useful because of this. Uh, because of like cis's, uh, because of the Moivre's theorem, it's really easy to express cis in terms of powers. So, if it's really easy to express cis in terms of you know cis of x to the 2023, then we can just look at the real part of that and the imaginary part of that, and take a look. Now, this is going to result in some kind of binomial thing, the thing we were looking for on top. But wait, huh? That's in tangents. And if we do binomial expansion on this, 
and look for all the terms that have an i in them and all the terms that don't have an i in them, we're going to get a bunch of sines and cosines. How can we make it into something that has tangents instead of sines and cosines? The trick is just divide by cosine of x. So just divide by cosine of x, we get this is imaginary part of 1 plus i tan x to the 2023. And the denominator is just going to be the real part of that same thing. I'm not going to, I'm going to use this quote, quote, same as the top. And we don't really care about the bottom. We really just care about the top, right? We're looking for the coefficient of here. And now this is just binomial theorem, right? This is going to be i to the 2023 times tangent 2023 to the x. And i to the 2023, well, that's just negative i. So negative, so negative 1 is going to be this coefficient here. And so the, if we have this here, then now the imaginary part is negative of this, right? This is the imaginary part because we, the imaginary part does not include the i. Therefore, it's just negative this, which is negative one. And that is our final answer for this problem. A really cool problem with a really short solution. The main trick was realizing that tangent 2023x has a really nice interpretation with complex numbers. Imaginary cis of 2023 over real cis of 2023. And that will result in some kind of binomial expansion thing that will give us, you know, a tangent expression. That will give us a tangent expression. We look at the imaginary a part of that. And then if you look at the real part of this. But then we realize, huh, we want in terms of tangents, not cosines and sines. So instead, let's convert it to this form. And then after that, we just look at this final term. And that was it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed.